Uh, Ricky, could you step up here a little bit, please? Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. It feels uh, extraordinary. I'm very happy. Needless to say, you know, words can't express how I feel right now. I'm just glad to be out. Glad to be a free man. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Wow. I mean, you know, you sit in prison for so long, you think about this day, but when it actually comes, you don't know what you want. You just want to do something, you know, besides what you've been doing for 39 years. When you heard the judge say an hour ago, you're a free man, goodbye, talk about what you were feeling. What was going on that we couldn't see? I mean, it was, uh, it was like an emotional roller coaster, you know, it's just, I mean, the English language doesn't fit what I'm feeling right now, you know, it's just... I mean, I'm just on the emotional high right now. Really. Ronnie, how excited are you to see Ricky, Ricky. Ricky? How I'm sorry, Ricky. How excited are you to see? I got Ronnie on my mind because I saw him a few minutes ago. How excited are you to see Ronnie and Wiley? Well, I really haven't got a chance to meet him yet, see him yet. I saw him briefly in the courtroom, but I'm dying to meet him. I want to embrace him and hug him. Excuse me, because we've been through a lot together, and we made it. You know, we're here. We made it. One of the other inmates who've been released uh, through the Innocence Project said that it's hard to keep hope alive, but once the Innocence Project gets on your case, you, you have I mean, new hope. Listen, I can't begin to tell you, um, those guys are fantastic, really, they are. You know, they once they lock onto it, it's like a pit bull. They don't, you know, this guy here, I mean, he's my hero. He saved my life, literally, you know. And everybody else on the team that worked on my case for nearly a decade, I do believe, you know. These guys are tremendous. They do great work. You know, I was glad to have them, you know, because I wouldn't be here without them. You Ricky, what are your courtroom today. You smiled at some people. You waved at them. Who were they? Uh, family, friends, and I mean just people. I didn't really know. I'm just glad to see people. <laughs> 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 you know? yeah, I'm just happy to see people, you know, for real. What are your thoughts about the people who got you here in the first place 39 years ago, the people who said you did it when you didn't? Well, um, I guess a lot of people will want me to hate that person and feel carry animosity towards him, but I don't. You know, people have to remember that they see him as a grown man today, but 70, in 75, he was a 12 year old kid. And he was ma manipulated and coerced by the police, you know, and they, they used him. They used him to get us in prison. So, as far as uh, that young man is concerned, I wish him the best. I don't hate him. I don't. I just wish he has a good life. It took a lot of courage to do what he did in that courtroom. You guys didn't see his testimony. You didn't hear his testimony, but it took a lot of courage to do what he did. They tried to break him. They tried to screw him up. But at the end, he always said the same basic thing. They didn't do it. I lied. And that took a lot of courage for him. He's been carrying a burden around for 39 years like we have. But in the end, he came through, and I'm grateful for Ricky, you're innocent for 39 years. Can you tell me why, how you got through all of this, knowing you're innocent for 39 years? I mean, it's it's a lot of things you go through, but honestly, there are some guys in prison right now, some old law guys that really helped me get through this, taught me how, just because you're in prison, you don't have to be a prisoner. You got to be a man, you know, and you got to get yourself together regardless of what the circumstances are, and you got to press forward. You know, you know you're innocent, you got to keep fighting, you know.